all right so good evening hello how are you um i filed for divorce maybe a three days ago and no it had to have been friday it was definitely friday and today is mm, monday night today's monday night i don't know the day i know i'm going i know i gotta go to work um so it's monday um i had my husband say yesterday so at first he said two days ago that he didn't like that i went into the store and it was an african store so there's a lot of people in this particular um even though it's an african store, african store it's specifically a nigerian store and while i was there um the gentleman um that owns the store and the gentleman that works for him said hey how's your husband i was like oh he's uh, um i guess he's all right i don't know i hadn't seen him and um that was messy because it just insinuates it just invites people into your problem insinuates trouble at home and things like that and so he was like oh um the guy that works with him was just like oh yeah we just hung out together we always hang out at um um uh, whenever he has time and i'm like okay it must be nice and my kids chimed in, chimed in and so the second thing you know saying it must be nice was um also insinuating that you know maybe that guy gets better treatment wah, 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 whatever um more time with my husband than i or the kids or whatever my kids chimed in and they were like well we don't see him what do y'all get to do what do y'all get to do and then they were like, behaving as though, like they were excited they went to know they vicariously through his um sharing and telling of what he gets to do with um their dad and i'm like i got my eyes all wide and so um although we're being you know we're smiling about it yeah i think that's honestly how we feel but it's the way that which we're going about it is still messy in itself so um i get back home and um even though that was um days ago it was two days ago that my husband was just like oh why are you um over here telling people my business talking about they need to spend time oh because while i was at the african store i told the gentleman hey whenever you get um, time and he comes in here ask him hey spend time with us as well you know consider us and like face us um from time to time and so he was just like no problem that's not you know anything i can't do it's not beyond me and i was like okay thanks and so um when my when i spent time with my uh when my husband came back it was like it took like two days that he had actually visited he ran into any of them any any of those two men that work at that african store that african food store and my husband was like why are you telling people my business well, oh you just run your mouth uh this why i'm like telling you nothing this why we're not close you don't really know me at all he was like you don't bring nothing to the table you use this blah 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 and all those other things um maybe actually how he feels and he used that opportunity to tell me how he feels but um um i was just like how about we talk about the subject matter though we didn't we didn't we did, we did not end up talking about how he and i could spend more time together he and the kids could spend more time together it was more just like hey why are you running on my blah, blah, blah. and i was just like you know what you're right i really should look for another way but i've literally come to you directly and you're like no, I need to do this, I need to do that in order to um, qualify. And he was just like, well, when you get it done, man, first, he didn't ask me to get a job, I didn't got a job. Now he'd be talking about, oh, I'm gonna be cleaning up. Now I got somebody, I pay somebody 150 to be, um, 150, sometimes 120 to be paid to clean, cleaning up. He'd just be making excuses. And I'd be like, bro, I don't even, you're not even worth that. I gotta pay some money, I gotta be working. So, and I, and I said that, like, hey, why do I have to qualify? And he'd just be like, man, because, he was like, you're always trying to um, talk to me disrespectfully. And then we won't really talk about the subject matter. We'll just talk about how I'm talking to him. And, yeah, I got to find a way to still keep my cool when it comes to him. Even though I've been asking for a long time. Or I, this is, uh, uh, it's been after he's expressed rage. He's expressed anger. But I still got to maintain my cool because I'm the uh, claiming Christian. So, uh, with him, it's just, there's excuse, there's excuse, excuse. So, um, but I did come to him and say, hey, my format was right, but I, um, according to the scripture, because we went into Matthew chapter, uh, Matthew 14, I don't even remember right now, I think it was Matthew 14, verse 18, I'm not even going to say the scriptures or the verse, because um, um, we would have to Google the steps, the steps is talking about, in the book of Matthew, it's talking about how um, 
if there's anybody that has done anything to you, how how you go not to you, excuse me, that's done anything that is sinful against God, not toward me, uh, not toward me or not toward you, but anything toward God. What you need to do to them first is go to them and share with them or remind with them, not not introduce, because this is your the, the first. Um, it says if any of your brother, and the brother would have to be someone who is a, 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 another believer in the faith, even though it says brother, it it also um, it um, is inclusive to women, uh, women who are of the faith. So um, if any of your brother sins, and the sin, um, if if you're trying to go about these steps uh, that the sin would mean something that is separating this person from Yahweh according to the scripture so is there a sin here is the person in the faith is this person um, has this person done something that's committed something according to the scripture that is separating them from Christ so um, and then I while I'm reading the scripture I open up the Bible and I come to my, uh, my husband and, I, and I'm just like hey Actually, I come to my husband and then I open up the Bible and I come to him and I'm like, hey, um, this is my reasoning. I mean, this the way I went about it is biblically so, but um, I still could have at least tried something more current um, because the steps goes. If somebody if there's a brother in the faith um, then and they have sinned, you need to go to them and and remind them of. Oh, and ask them to. What does it say? Ask them to uh, drop this, uh, this, uh, the the sin to come away from it, and if they should um, understand, then you have um, done. Uh, then, then both of you guys have done well. Then the the second thing is if that if that person does not separate from that sin, then you take them to the church. And, no, excuse me. You take another believer from the church, and you and both of you have to believe in your heart, uh, forgive them in your heart, and then you go to. You, both of you guys forgive that person and then you go to the, the center and they both of you ask um, together um, to ask for that person to come away from that sin and if that person then chooses to then both of you guys have been a blessing to each other um, now the first step is um, to go privately the second step is to go to the church uh, Go to the church, find another believer. Both of you guys forgive, then go to the uh, sinner. Uh, and then, um, if that sinner does not step away, then you then the scripture says to treat them as a Gentile or a tax collector. Uh, and those two terms, um, you would need to then look into the interpretation of your version of your Bible. Um, but that is to treat them as though they're not a non believer. Uh, um, treat them as though, yeah, they are a non believer because they've been won over by the sin nature, not by. Um, not putting God first right and so I shared this with him um, but it was important that I don't deceive him into thinking that all that I did was right because I'm acknowledging that I think I was I don't know if it was desperation I'm so desperate I'm now calling uh, random people um, not random people I know that he frequents that that store and I also know that he um, it but but it became it came it became aware to me became aware I came I became aware while I was there that uh, that uh, one of the men that worked there hangs out with my husband often and then uh, that's when I was just like hey whenever you have time share with him you know spend time with him just advise him just advise him to you know consider spending time with us um, like intentionally and and um, <sighs> That, I, I'm open-minded to believing that that could be done a different way. I know that my heart wasn't completely pure. I I, I know that it that um, although that's truly what I want would like for him to be advised by men. Um, I didn't scan them and see if they were godly men. I do know for, for a fact that the owner of the store is a is a believer, even though he's he goes to he's a part of the Catholic Church. I just generally don't believe that Catholics are actual believers but um, yeah, um, so that's why I chose uh, the, own, the owner of the store but me including the gentleman that works with him um, more so could just put my husband in a bad light uh, but or, um, 
with anyone else but because he hangs out with my husband that was foolish because anyone that hangs out with my husband is not going to see anything that I do as good let me tell you something nobody and I, I was warning my, my sons and my daughter that I'm constantly wild out wilded out in awe of people that just be giving me stuff buying me coats and boots and um boxes of perfume uh, uh is it perfume no um makeup sets and i'm like did they get this for free why are they why would they think of me even though they had two of these that's wild um even though they didn't have two of these they just had one like they intentionally just went to the store and just bought me this but he buys stuff for other people and this is how he maintains the people that he hangs around and and that's completely different and the, of course the things that keep us together just like the people in the jail they hang out with other people that have um, criminally <laughs> crafted minds and that's the people that they desire and that's the people that desire them but how he and I got together I'm sure we had we had a lot no we didn't have a lot of common in it we was just uh, yeah no we didn't because it wasn't like we was both in love and stuff like that when we got married <laughs> But um, but yeah, that's that's something that I've been able to pick up. People are it, buying jackets for my kids, girl. I'm like, girl, they ain't even cold. She was like, girl, this the time to get it. And I'm like, I wouldn't have bought three jackets for him. But that's amazing. She that's what she chose to do with her money, and then uh, buying winter stuff. There's several people always buying stuff for my kids, and that's great. Thank you. I don't know. I'll be praying for like, oh, may people um, see uh, uh, my children and continue to favor them. Um, I want them to be safe even whenever I'm not around. But so to see it in fruition, I, I'm like, oh, I guess that's the prayer answer. But um, when it comes to my spouse, um, the way that he continues to draw people in his life through purchasing things, I guess through having to give them stuff. I've, they'll never be able to know him organically he'll, he'll never be able to experience an organic uh, true and genuine relationship because he's not being genuine or allowing the nat just the natural responses to to just arise with between him and other people because he's not genuine anyway but um it's it's those differences that that I need to that I'm already aware of that don't that don't make any sense when I uh, then proceed to go to someone that hangs around him. First off, that dude probably a bum. What the dude? How do you feel comfortable somebody banging stuff for you? Talking about oh, I hang out with him. For that, I should be judging him too. But um, in that moment, I failed. Um, I think it's. I want to say desperation, but for a lack of better words, that word just doesn't sit well with me because I don't think it's completely it may be desperation and something else but for me to go about that route to um, ask one of these gentlemen that hang out with him and another uh, and the owner of the store when that wasn't really my intention because it wasn't well, well thought out yeah he had I know him to be a believer but I don't really um, I don't know his strengths and weaknesses and things like that I don't know and I know he I just know my husband's frequents that store um, it was just tacky it was it was really really tacky and it really stains my walk and the presence of my my spouse and ultimately no matter how i feel toward him i know that yahweh feels a certain way toward my spouse and i need to keep not just keep that in mind but i need to keep that in the forefront of all my behaviors my thoughts and my speech <sighs> today though today my um spouse came to me while i was taking a shower I'm gonna be loud in the car it's parking garage and he was just like okay um hey um <laughs> he's like can i talk to you oh is it can you even see me can you see my face oh man I put, I, now i can put this on because i ain't driving he's like um okay um not word for word but i do remember these specific words he was like hey i i do a, i need to apologize i know i've done you wrong um uh, no he said i know i've done wrong to you in somehow one way or another um but um i don't want to lose you when he said i don't want to lose you i said man you see my divorce papers 
why would somebody two days ago say I don't bring nothing to the table I'm useless and he's so uh, and I'm and I all, all I do is bring drama 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 when I'm literally repeating what he said <laughs> this guy's he's such a tangled web that I want to step out from because I feel like talking with this kind of person will keep you stagnant but It will he'll keep me st like stationary, like in one spot. But I'll. But I know I'm wise enough to know I'm not going anywhere, not even in any direction. I'm literally staying still. This kind of is it a sin? The way that he, yes, the way that he thinks. Um, you'll find it. Um, in Ephesians chapter 5 no excuse me Ephesians 4 starting from 17 all the way to the end when it says that they're darkened in their hearts separated from God uh, because of the darkness um, because of the darkness in their they have darkened understanding and they are separated from God because of the ignorance within them because of their darkened heart um, even when you explain something to someone even in that moment uh, when I keep it scriptural He's able to receive it. But then five minutes later, something arises within him. And it's like a fire that can't be put out. And then a day later and two days later, or just later on that night, it'll be as though you didn't share this wisdom. Wow. It's so important for me to not allow my children to go day by day or... Uh, large blocks of hours without hearing scripture because I don't want to be dealt dealing with this kind of um, you know those candles that don't blow out that's that's how his ignorance is that fire is his ignorance and his darkened heart and his separation from God so trying to blow it out the blowing in the wind is spiritual wisdom. And sometimes it goes out and you feel as though now you can eat the cake, but then it'll come back up. <sighs> I keep saying for lack of better words, I feel sorry, but no, the, the Bible is available to us all. But even though I've read the Bible, um, I've read the Bible, I've read several books of the Bible. It was Yahweh who gave me, who chose to give me um, salvation so I still think that he could at least try like open your Bible please so you can be familiar with this text because he calmed down after I read that scripture but then here he is today uh, talking about hey I don't want to lose you and I came out of the shower I was like let me hear him watch these bottom of my feet and in between my toes rinse my uh, toes out came out and I was like well I was already done I was just like what do you mean forget about the fact that you asked me to get a job in order to have a conversation uh, with you about the uh, about not paying the rent because we about to get evicted on the 21st in 21 days it was on the 21st I'm sorry not in 21 days he was like forget about that you always trying to argue I was like the things that we're going to get evicted you talking about forget about that how are you going to tell me forget about the forget about it but I had to go through this long process just to get a job so I can qualify to have a conversation with you and he's talking about forget about that no we need to address the things that have already been done he's talking about no let's start, let's start a new let's start a friendship you always talking about go about in the past you always try to go about the past I was like bruh I am currently putting on my uniform right now you talking about I'm going he has these sayings and these slogans that he uses he throws them out I was just like, you leave that for the birds. There's women out there that's ready to rack their brains. And they don't have the community of people that can allow them to see through <clears throat> this smoke. They don't have that. And I don't wish that for them either. I wish for somebody who is not just smarter than you, but smarter people wouldn't even entertain you. There isn't anybody qualified, that, to my knowledge. So I'm just not familiar with it. But... um. In this moment, if you are able to have that, able, if you're, if you're, if you have that kind of person in your heart, in your life, in your job, in your marriage, child, just anywhere in your life, I want to pray right now, especially for myself. Yahweh, help us. 
we are the ones that need the prayer. Help us to make sure that we are more committed to the scripture that we read and to abide in it and to execute it, to live it out and to be more obedient to your word and be restrained. Yahweh, you, we need your self-control. We need the Holy Spirit that gives self-control to be in these situations, but to not fail, to be in these situations, but to not go astray, to not sin, to not deceive this person or to make them, to not match them in their words, in their speech, in their anger, in their tone. In any way, we pray, Lord God, to be separated, uh, Lord God, and we need that training. And I'm thank you, Lord, and I'm thankful, Lord God, for the experiences that you have given us to be around these um, kinds of people that are burdened with this delusion, uh, Lord, because it, it allows us to exercise the hope that we um, pray to, the the faith that we believe in. And I pray, Lord God, for strength, for the strength and longevity. But I pray also for joyous days, <laughs> peaceful days, and days where this will no longer be ever be an issue. May your glorious name be glorified. May your glorious name be glorified. We pray unto you. Help us, Lord God. And I know that you are. Help us, Lord God, to allow you to be more, to be in our lives more, to be in control more, to increase our faith and to increase our uh, spiritual maturity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen.